Hello, YouTube. Namaste. How is everyone? Um, it's been a while, and I decided that I will not be posting regularly because I know that my subscriber number is pretty low, and but still, I am very hopeful that individuals will come and they will listen to my message. And I'm sure there are several other people who all have the same message and as well as um, maybe the same beliefs and the same advice that I am offering. Um, but I'm talking from a real point of view. I'm not down with BS. So basically, I'm coming up front because I want to clear the air for myself as well as basically just not pretend and hide behind something. And that's the only reason why I'm making these videos because actually it is also helping me to stay on track with what I am trying to do with my goals. So um, this definitely helps me. If you like this video, please subscribe. And should you have any questions or advice, I am more than happy to read. So remember, keep posting. Um, for today's show, um, well, blog actually, um, I want to talk about something which is called forgetfulness. And what I mean about forgetfulness is, you know how, you know, you get very excited about something and you start doing whatever it is that is needed to be done regarding that thing you're so passionate about. And then after a few days, it pretty much begins to, you know, wither away and you basically begin to fall back into your comfort zone. Um, and that pretty much stalls the progress that we try to make. And I know that's true about me. For example, not doing a blog this past couple of days, um, simply because for some reason I've been so involved in work um, and some other priorities, which pretty much are nothing of importance. I, I just simply did not put in the effort or time to really do this. And I kind of fell back on my studies as well um, in regards to law of attraction, positivity, um, and becoming a success. So I decided this evening what I needed to do is basically go back, try and find a purpose for what I was do doing this, and also just reminding myself that this is something that I want. I want change. I want to step out of my comfort zone. So this is what I'm doing this. But at the same time, this lesson is about forgetfulness and letting go of what is important and staying on track. So for today's lesson, I have five tips on how to not let go and forget about your goals. And hopefully, you know, for me, you know, this evening, actually, as I, you know, wrote this, I, I was very glad that I'm doing this blog because I want to remember what I need to continue doing. Even if your prayers are answered, you've, you know, accomplished things that you needed to accomplish, always try to remind yourself, why did I do this? What was the goal of this? Is this making me happy? Am I satisfied? Because in life, we always have to progress. No matter what level you reach, you have to keep climbing that ladder. Um, so let me offer you my five ways of not forgetting and not falling back to your negative type persona. So the first one is keep a journal. I keep a journal. I make sure that I do my studies and I always write things. And every now and then when I start forgetting it, you also have to keep it on hand because it kind of helps knowing that you have this on hand. So no matter, for example, I keep it in the living room. When I come to the desk with the computer, it's right there for me to see. So sometimes I'll feel like, oh, you know, I really don't want to be bothered today. But as soon as I look at my journal, I know instantly that, hey, 
you're forgetting what we're working on. You have to go back and start doing it again. So I am very happy to say that this journal was right next to me and I said, you know what? I remember what I've been trying to do. I know what I'm trying to accomplish. Therefore, I need to record this blog and share it with everyone. So that's the first thing that I think that needs to that we need to do. We need to have a journal on hand so that we could stick to our promise. The second thing I would say that helps is hanging up reminders. Make a note on a piece of paper, hang it on your fridge, hang it on the wall, hang it in your bedroom, on the bedroom door before you exit. Just write down what you're trying to accomplish so that it is there for you to see all the time. What I've done is I've placed um, reminders on the door of my bedroom so when I wake up in the morning it's right there before I open up the door. I also place it in the kitchen so when I am cooking and I need a, you know, a recipe or something I, it's right in front of me so I can't forget it and I also leave it on my closet which I have a closet in my hallway so when I go to get my coat or my clothing it's right there so that I remember what I'm working for. So I think it's very important to keep reminders all around the house um, just so again you, you might have the journal you know laying around and you still don't have that you know energy and commitment to look at it every day. You have those writings all over the, the house hanging up so you can remember that hey you know what this is what I need to do this is what I'm trying to attract into my to attract to my life so therefore I need to stick to it so again keep a journal and hang up reminders hang hang up reminders for yourself okay now the third thing is take a time out this is very important we get so wrapped up with our lives we forget what we've been working on we forget about meditating we forget about just being in the moment so I think the most important thing to do every now and then regardless when you're busy take a time out take a time out so you could reboot and remind yourself hey this is what I'm trying to accomplish this is what I'm trying to attract into my life and this is what I want I want better so therefore we cannot get wrapped up in our you know society's demands we need to step away take a time out and remind ourselves hey this is my universe this is my space this is my mind I need clarity I need to step away for a bit and remind myself what is it that I'm trying to accomplish I want to be successful therefore how am I taking action to make that happen? I'm working here. I need to remember why I am working to do this. So just take a time out, take a breather, and just remind yourself, this is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. So it's very important to just keep reminding yourself. And if you get wrapped up, if you get too busy, you're going to forget. And once again, the topic of this blog is forgetting things, forgetting your goal to accomplish what you want in your life. So again, keep a journal, hang up reminders, and take a time out. Now for the fourth one, I would have to say that it is affirmations. Going to work. I keep saying my affirmations. I keep reminding myself, this is what I want. This is what is given to me. This is what I feel I deserve. This is who I am. And I affirm that. I constantly play it in my head. Once I do that, what happens is you do not forget. You don't forget it because you're constantly playing it in your mind and eventually it just becomes a normal thing an everyday thing for you so you just remind yourself hey you know I am a positive person 
I am successful. I am intelligent. I have confidence. I deserve better. So therefore, once you keep saying those things in your head over and over again, eventually it sticks. It gives you it allows you to be open and it definitely helps your subconscious to in order for it to know now this is who you are. You've transformed. This is who you are. You won't necessarily need the journal all the time and you don't really need to hang up reminders 24-7. And yes, you still need to take the time out. But affirmations eventually become reality. It becomes who you are. So just remember, keep affirming to yourself, hey, this is what I want. This is what I deserve. This is my identity. This is my reality. So affirmations again. So therefore we have keep a journal, hang up reminders, take a time out, and affirmations. And finally for the fifth one, and I feel that this is important at the end of the day, it is gratitude. At the end of the day, we always need to find something to be grateful for. It could be the most minute thing, but still you have to be grateful. The gratefulness reminds us as well, this is what I want in my life. And I'm getting closer to it. I am so grateful to, because of this and that and this. Because it is allowing me to get closer to what I am working on. So, you know, it also helps to, it just basically helps you to remember what it is that you are trying to accomplish. Um, so being grateful for what, the smallest thing or the biggest thing, and I am telling you, it really does happen. It really does. And even for bad days, be grateful for a bad day because at least you get to learn something from that day, from an experience that day. So it is very important to always just be grateful. So once again, it is keep a journal, hang up reminders, take a time out, affirmations, and most importantly, be grateful for what you have, good or bad. So again, this is my blog. This is my message to you. I really hope that I can be of help. And again, have a great one. Be well. Peace.